Technology, located in southwest Ohio, offers over 25 advanced skill and technical training courses lasting from one to four weeks each. Other services available include in-plant and specialized training. For more information, write or call area code 513-332-5000. objective of this topic is to become familiar with the method of operation, type of equipment, and welding characteristics of the aluminum gas metal arc welding process. Gas metal arc welding produces coalescence of aluminum parts by heating them with an arc between a continuous consumable electrode and the work. Shielding is obtained entirely from externally supplied gas. The heat of the arc melts the end of the electrode and a portion of the base metal. The molten filler metal forms a puddle that solidifies into weld metal. One of the great differences between steel and aluminum welding is the faster travel speed needed because aluminum conducts heat differently than steel. Aluminum heats up rapidly and the heat affected zone around the weld is larger. Also, unlike steel, there is no color change when aluminum is heated from room temperature to melting point. The equipment generally used for gas metal arc welding is a constant voltage power source, a regulated shielding gas system, filler wire to match the base metal, a wire feeder, and a gun and cable assembly. Most aluminum welding uses direct current electrode positive or reverse polarity with the positive terminal connected to the gun and the negative terminal connected to the workpiece or welding fixture. Power sources can be either a transformer rectifier or a motor generator. Although both can be used, the transformer rectifier is preferred because its response time is faster as arc conditions change. The use of motor generator systems is recommended only when no other power source is available. The two kinds of power sources used for gas metal arc welding are the constant current and the constant voltage. Since the constant current machine can only be used with large diameter aluminum wires, these power sources are not recommended. Constant voltage machines provide an almost constant voltage regardless of changes in the current. There is only a slight drop in voltage as the load increases, so weld quality can be maintained without constantly making adjustments to the settings. Wire feeders supply the electrode wire to the arc by means of a number of mechanical systems. Voltage sensing wire feeders maintain a preset arc length by sensing the voltage across the arc and regulating the wire feed speed to match. Welding aluminum with a voltage sensing wire feeder is limited to large diameter electrodes and in most cases is not a recommended application of the process. Instead, constant voltage power sources are used with constant speed wire feeders which actually control the welding amperage. In operation, the feed rate is set by the speed control on the motor and the constant voltage power source automatically furnishes the correct amount of current to burn the electrode off at the rate it is fed into the arc. The four major types of wire feed systems are the pull type, push type, push-pull combination, and synchronous. Of these, the pull and the push-pull are the types recommended for aluminum welding due to the softness of the electrode wire. The pull type feeder 
pulls the electrode from the spool to the gun by a motor mounted either near the spool or at the gun itself. Push-pull systems use two drive motors, one located at the gun and another near the wire spool. The gun motor runs slightly faster than the spool motor to prevent the soft aluminum wire from kinking or breaking. The storage and supply of shielding gas is the same for aluminum as for steel. The entire system consists of a pressure cylinder or bulk supply system, a regulator, a flow meter, a shutoff valve, and a feed hose. The basic parts of a welding gun include the contact tube or tip, a shielding gas nozzle, a non-abrasive electrode liner, gas hoses, and, where applicable, air or water cooling hoses. Contact tubes vary in size and must match the electrode and material size. They are usually made of copper or copper alloy. The nozzle directs a continuous flow of shielding gas to the weld zone. Nozzle size varies according to the application. Both pistol grip and gooseneck welding guns are used for gas metal arc welding. In either case, the gun must feed the soft aluminum wire in a relatively straight line with no sharp angles to prevent electrode kinking. The power cable supplies the current, shielding gas, and electrode wire to the arc. For heavy duty applications, air or water hoses may be present to cool the gun. Solenoids located within the wire feeder regulate the gas flow. The power supply contactor starts the gas flow before welding and continues it for a short time after. This continuation of the gas flow after welding has stopped helps protect the molten puddle as it solidifies and is referred to as post flow. Single and dual stage gas regulators are used to provide shielding gas at a constant pressure and flow. Dual stage regulators sometimes have a built-in flow meter. The pressure they deliver is more constant than a single unit. Mixing devices are used in conjunction with regulators when two separate gas cylinders are used to create a desired mixture. When choosing electrodes, select one that contains mechanical and physical characteristics that match the base metal. This results in well deposits that are relatively free of discontinuities and of equal or greater quality than the base metal. However, electrode selection is sometimes limited by the equipment available, desired size of the weld, the amount of electrode wire on hand, availability of materials, and other factors. The characteristics of the various electrodes overlap to such an extent that some compromises can be made without affecting overall weld requirements. Before any welding operation takes place, the welder should perform an equipment check. Look for such things as proper power equipment, electrode feeder, type of shielding gas and flow rates, electrode size and composition, and the condition of the gun, nozzles, and contact tubes. These must all be correct for the kind of welding job to be performed. As for joint setup, remember that aluminum, when exposed to heat, will expand to almost twice the size of the same amount of steel. This must be allowed for when fitting up joints. Correct spacing allows for metal expansion and eliminates excess thickness at the finished joint. It is also necessary for the welder to increase the travel speed for aluminum because it conducts heat much more rapidly than steel and melts at a lower temperature. Slow travel speeds may cause overpenetration or cracking of the weld. Particular caution should be used when welding alloys of aluminum. Although they may look alike, each has been alloyed with small amounts of other metals to produce certain characteristics and may change the weld property requirements. For example, cracking can occur during solidification of the weld 
or in the heat affected zone. Aluminum of commercial quality and low strength alloys are relatively free from cracking, but higher strength alloys have a tendency to crack if overheated or welded with an improper filler wire composition. Prior to starting the arc, a cleaning procedure must be performed. Joint edges must be free of dirt, grease, and surface oil to prevent contaminating the weld. A non-inflammable, non-toxic cleaning solvent is recommended for smooth surfaces. If solvents fail to clean a surface, then files, chisels, scrapers, or stainless steel wire brushes can be used. Brushes are especially useful for removing oxide coatings, which are often invisible but can cause problems such as porosity or uneven bead size, since the coating melts at a higher temperature than the base metal. Proper edge preparation, cleanliness, and good fit up of parts are the keys to a sound weld. Also critical to the quality of the final weldment are gun angles, electrode stick out, shielding gas, travel speed, and heat buildup. When correctly applied, the gas metal arc process for aluminum is an all position, high speed process. It is highly visible to the operator, requires little post-weld cleaning, and can be used on a wide range of thicknesses.